for great ideas and practical tools you can start using tomorrow to grow your business and separate you from the competition, you've come to the right place. If you're into B2B marketing and sales, then welcome to the one and only B2B marketing and sales podcast with over 60 and counting total years in the trenches of businesses, small and large. They have a plethora of knowledge and experience that generate you more leads, capture more clients, ring up more sales. Well, doggone it. Just make you more money. How about that? Always thought-provoking, yet dubiously entertaining. Please welcome to their respective microphones across three time zones, your co-ringmasters, the Dave Loomis, and not the rock star, Steve Miller. Hey, Steve Miller, better known as Kelly's dad, marketing gunslinger, and I'm not going to start laughing like I always do, because this is a very serious topic today. And, and, uh, and, and joining me on... The B2B Marketing and Sales Podcast is my very, very good friend. And you know he's a very good friend because we got in an argument. Or I shouldn't say we got in an argument, but but he yelled at me. All right. And only good friends do that. And uh, uh and, and it wasn't today, it was it was uh a couple of weeks ago, and I'm and I'm still struggling. But yeah, uh, obviously, but- obviously he's bringing it up again. And um yeah, but uh, but I I agree. True true friends. I hadn't David thought of it. I, Mayo I hadn't thought of it Loomis. since then. Hello everybody. Yeah, I, I also I known understand. as I the have, voice. I have a very fragile. I have a very fragile macho male speaker, author, consultant ego. Yeah. So so uh, so anyway, welcome, Mr. David Mayo Loomis, author of this book. Marketing, Marketing is everything is we do. Everything we do. And soon to be author of the um, trademarked term book, Customer Outsight. Oh, not insight, outsight. Wow. Yep. Yep. And that can be another that time. Might be our next one. Talk, when we can talk about what customer outsight is. Might be our next might be because, our next call. Because when I've explained it and I explained it to the chief customer officer of a huge software company today. Really? And his mind was blown. Did he go like this? He did. He did. He made the mind blown <laughs> thing. And 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 I'm gonna warn everybody today that uh, um that this Uh-oh. is a podcast, but you know, we also we also do this on video. Um and, uh, yes, good and point. So with chat. You know, we're going to be talking about uh, we're talking about prompting today, and I think that I've mentioned before that you know I I am absolutely one hundred percent convinced that the newest su- marketing superpower is prompt engineering. Uh, uh, I've, I've said before, you know, understanding your your understanding your moose, understanding your market, uh, copywriting. That type of stuff. Those are superpowers. We probably need another word. You need to come up with another word for the term prompt because everybody yeah, uses that term. You, it yeah. needs to be your your term. So well, think I'll about, fig- yeah. Think about that. In I'll the, think about that for yeah, you. But in the meantime, but yeah. in the meantime, I, I mean, people get it. I think yeah, yeah, I think most of yeah. the people get what we're talking about right now. But but let's start there. I mean, let's start there, okay? Because That's because a, I, yeah. I, I, I mean, yeah, let's. Start I have there. you and I both have. I, I think we both have kind of. Uh, different approaches towards prompting. I think mine is extremely uh, naive, uh, and I think yours is extremely intelligent. And oh, and because there's different ways to do it for sure. Okay, well, so, all right. So let me ask you. All right, what what do you define as prompt engineering? And and do you agree with me or disagree with me that that it's a superpower? Okay, well, it's it's definitely a superpower. It's also something that is evolving literally every day. So um, I don't know how many of our listeners actually are on TikTok, but um, I am on TikTok quite a bit. And um, I listen to, uh, I watch videos on a, a whole bunch of different subjects. And because I have expressed interest and because I watch videos about AI prompts, I get a lot of videos about people 
who are teaching others how to improve their prompts for, you know, for better results. So I've learned a lot from that too, which is just pretty wild. Uh, talk about mind blown. Uh, it's amazing. So, so yes, I mean, the answer to your first question is absolutely superpower. Something that can be learned. Don't be afraid to experiment and, 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 and all that. What is it? What is it? For, because I know there's somebody on here right now who's saying, what the hell is what, what the hell? Okay. Right. So if you, I mean, if you have tried chat GPT or, uh, or Bing's um, Bing uh, AI or Bard, AI or right. Bard which is right. Google's or, you know, now uh, uh, Elon Musk is threatening to come up with his own thing. Um, so any of these AI, they, they technically they are chat bots, um, but they're pretty damn smart chat bots. Um, so it's basically, if you think about the Google, the space where you type in the, in Google, um, that's technically a prompt for Google search. I guess it's yeah, never, you really, know what, you know what, that's a, that's a really it's, good point. It's, it's never really been called that, or I've never heard it called that, but it is because this is really no different. It's basically a space to type what you want to know. Yeah. And you can write in what, you know, a question um, or, a, or a topic and ask it to do something and make a request. So I that's think in Google, prompt. yeah, I think in Google, I think we just, ref we just call it like search terms. Yeah, we call it search terms or the Google box, or I don't even know what we call it because we just say search Google. As but there, so, but so there are Google also search. people. Now we, you and I, and and everybody on here has been using Google for years now. Okay, and I would venture to say that that most of us, including me, don't really use the the Google search as well as we could because there are because there are ways to to to. Put oh, in a search search term definitely. that are really advanced. Yeah, definitely. And and so we all we all probably only scratch the surface even on that. Yeah. Uh, and you know, it, when Google Search first came out, we all thought, oh, we better type one word in. I'm trying to learn about insurance, so I'm going to type the word insurance in. Then we learned, oh, we should be more specific. I'm going to write car insurance, and I'm going to get this. Mm -hmm. Then we learned over time that we could just like write a phrase in there and that's referred to a long tail search and Google got very good at processing that and figuring out what that was. And maybe you've learned that if you want a specific combination of words, like a real term, then you put it in, in quotation marks Yeah, and then they're, Google they're, won't they're, mix it up. Yeah. They, they, it'll, it'll search for literally that exact combination of terms and so, i happen to know i happen to know that that's that, that when you really get into that stuff it's called a boolean search ah uh, yes uh, mm -hmm. i'm sure you know that i'm sure you know that um yeah but yeah. i'm gonna say that i am more of the foolian uh um user of that i i don't even come <laughs> close to using Boolean google like I search I, that's funny but <laughs> that it just just came to me but and, right um, that's great but 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 there is a difference in i mean obviously the big difference uh i would say is that when you do a google search regardless of how how detailed you make it it simply sh shows you websites to go to yeah i mean it gives you it it returns you links now subtly i've noticed that google is starting to produce answers yes yes and and so it's not quite as noticeable as you might think but they're starting to do that so that's 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 very interesting and i wouldn't be surprised if you know bard merges with it Google well it has to it, it has it to well it just i will. don't see any other way for it to do that so now so so we've been using google all these years most of us use it at a very very elementary level um but now we've got and and we'll just i mean we can say ai or we can say chat gpt whatever we want whatever we want to use right now um and this is now um and and it's, i mean we could still ask the same elementary questions we and we, it, we absolutely could and it will give us 
pretty good answer. But but what it does is it answers you. It doesn't it doesn't say, oh, go to go to this, go to these websites. Right. Um well, and it's giving you one answer. It's not giving you 50 or a page and then a thing at the bottom. If you ever, I mean, whoever actually <laughs> really looks at the bottom to see that there's that it delivered 45 pages of results yeah. on your search. And oh, you know, I, I know the top couple are really good, but yeah. I wonder yeah. what's on like page 55 of that search. Yeah. I better look there. I mean, think of the time. <laughs> yeah. But well, and and nobody looks past the second page anyway. So uh um uh, um I'm not sure the last time I ever did. But uh um so so how would you describe the difference between writing a prompt or or do you want to define a prompt differently? You you, you very correctly and and uh su- surprisingly and I say that from from my perspective because I wasn't really thinking about it. Well, I I I didn't think about it that way either, but I you know, but that that was beautiful. And um cuz it cuz it you know, it gives us a comparison with something we know. And and so true, that makes and me- and and before long, all this is going to be you know sort of served up to to all of us in a very similar way. Okay. That 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 Google does it probably, um, you know, for ease' sake, whether it's built into Bing or Bing Search or whatever. I mean, so I think that'll all happen. How would you just de- so? How would you describe um, what prompting is? But, you know, in in the new in the new term, new way. Well, I would say, to me, the difference is with Google. I always feel like I'm asking a question, so I'm putting like a curiosity in in there. Search for this. But when I have a prompt in AI, I feel like I'm giving it instructions. And mm. the way my mm. mind works, I pretend that I'm giving a person instructions. That's exactly how I feel. I, I'm, I, I've got an assistant. Yeah. Uh, I try. Did I tell you that I tried to name Chat GPT? I said, Can, do you have a name? And they said, you know, the response was, no, I am an AI robot. I do not have a name. I'm not a, you know, a real per- human. And I said, well, could I name you? And and it said, it said, oh, feel free to refer to me as, as uh, any name you like. Yeah, I did yeah, that. So, yeah, I named I named her Pat because I, I thought, it, you know. <laughs> From Saturday Night Live. It, yeah, it could be a a guy or a girl or these days everybody is you know sort of fluid anyway so um so yeah i named my i named mine dave (laughs) where where did i get that i have no idea it was not you uh oh oh i feel like there is a a a computer named dave somewhere in a movie what what is it no, it, it, the computer's name was not the, the the computer's name wasn't Dave. Uh, what was the computer's name? Hal. Hal. Hal from yeah. yeah. But Hal yeah. kept talking to Dave. Oh, that's right. To Dave. That's right. That's what yeah, it was. From. That's what. So and is, that's what. So I made. I said. To, I one time. I'm. I'm in a conversation, and I just said, "Okay, your name is Dave." And it said, "Fine, right, yeah." yeah. So that's um that's from um. The what movie is that from? Two thousand and one. Two thousand and one, a space odyssey, which I highly recommend. And the word Hal, the name Hal, came from uh, the letters IBM and moving one space moving. over from the oh, IBM. Boy, movie. we're this is this is like trivia contest here. I know it's <laughs> great. It's great. I love that. I, I love that movie. Uh, so okay, all right. So, so let's let's move forward. On so this. how do you? I can. I, I. I mean, I can tell you how I do prompts because I got a little like sort of things that I think about, but like, what, what do you, what do you do in a nutshell? You said, like I said, I'm, I think, I think I approach this very much like a real simple conversation with um, a, a, an assistant. And so what I do, uh, and and, and this is why I want to, I want to say that mine is very, very, very simple, but 
it becomes a conversation where I will That's I start out with the scheme. simplest the simplest statement of all. And I say, um, what can you tell me about this? Okay. And it comes back. And then I ask, and then I start thinking, okay. Um, I mean, because, you know, 90% of the time. You want more. You want more. You yeah, want something a little different or, you know. Different stuff. You now, I'm, not talking, mind. I'm not talking about um, writing copy or editing or that type of stuff. I'm talking about like if I want to yeah. go, go look for something. Uh, or I want information about something, then I start out as simple as possible. And then I expand from there. I, I say, oh, okay, that's not, that that's pretty good. But I really thought that, you know, or, and I love doing this. I love doing it. I love telling it. That isn't even close to what I was looking for. Uh-huh. Because it always apologizes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it says, it says oh, man, I'm I'm sorry. What? What specific? What what did I get wrong? What would you? What is it you? And I go. Well, I thought right. you were going to tell me more. Uh, you know, have more of this involved. And it'll say, it'll say, okay, yeah, like I can do like that. When I <laughs> asked you about me, you said that I was a star, not a superstar. So yeah. you got it wrong. That's that's right. Yeah, you, that's you, right. You, you missed the mark. So uh, and, and so so I use it as a conversation but i also you know i've also uh, you know i'm following a lot of people on you know and i need to get uh, i need to get onto that tiktok thing with you uh, you do you do and tell I me mean, more about more about great, that. i'm deep i'm deep into twitter and linkedin yeah there's uh, great in, there's great content on tiktok and a lot of the tiktok um uh content creators have youtube channels and in fact, one thing that's fascinating is they're getting more aggressive about um, telling people about their YouTube channels just in case TikTok gets banned. Oh yeah, that'd which be good would be really a shame because there really is some, some. There's a there's a very real possibility that it will get banned. There's an amazing stuff uh, yeah. on, on it. Um, so anyway, um, now so 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 that's but, very but when you and I have when you and I have done this together where we've gone on and and gone into you know your prompts you know, see I see people on on especially on LinkedIn these these guys are amazing on on AI yep and they and they share prompts that they work on and stuff like that and these these prompts are so, are so in depth and so detailed and then they come up with amazing, amazing stuff. They, they, they can be, yeah. And and I'm sure that I've, I've only really scratched the surface too. Um, I l really love what you said about a conversation because that's really the way I feel it is too. I think we get used to. It's it's very different than Google because uh, in another way, which is we do our Google search. And we usually like sort of choose from one of those results and then start, you know, going down whatever that rabbit hole is, right? Yeah. It's not like we go back to Google time and time again for the same thing and say, well, could you do this different or different? But that's really how to get the best results out of AI is to uh, uh, keep asking it to iterate, mm -hmm. right? So... Um, but but here is my I had to think um, in prep for this about what I do, and I I feel like and the, the, a couple, one one part of this I think you know two parts of this, but one part of it is new um, that we you and I have I'm not sure have talked about. So I I came up with these three letters to represent what I the approach that I take okay. uh, C C Q F. So C, 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 Q, C, Q, C, Q, F, that's, that's, my, that's, that's what I do. So uh, C is for context. And what I do with context, is, what I mean by that is that if I had an, a real live assistant, like sitting across the table from me, uh, and I, 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 I might say what you did, which is like, so what do you know about blank? and listen to the answer and then go back and forth like conversation. But I might to save time because I'm busy uh, try and get 
it, it get them to be pretty close on their first try. But I, if I had a real person in front of me, I would explain the situation. Here's what I'm working on. I'm working on this project for this client. It's in this industry and it's this brand or whatever. And I've been asked to do blank and I need a head start on that. I hope that you can help me. Um, here's what I'm looking for. And I describe it. Uh, and so that is the first part of it, which is context. Context. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, so that's the, that's the C. Now the Q is very interesting and fairly, I don't know if it's new, but I've learned to do this new and I had no idea that it was possible. The Q is for question and it's not me asking the AI a question. It's what ask, questions do you have? What questions do you have for me? I will, just learned that. That will that will help you deliver yeah. better results. I just learned that. And I did it today. And again, uh, I'm doing the mind blown thing because it just was like, Whoa, wow, okay. And so it told me what to ask it, it, Pat, um, uh, so that it would do a better job with the task that I, that I. Okay. So it, so, so you, you, so you said, so, so let's, let's, let, okay. So you go through the con the, the context. Yeah. Right. And you had several, you know, you kind of, you kind of sped through it a little bit, but yeah, if, if somebody were to re-listen to that, they, they could hear where they would insert their words. Correct. Here's what I'm working on. Here's the situation. Here's what I need. Here's what I'm looking for. You know, just do you do stage. you also do you talk about like I you know I'm in this industry. Um, here's, yeah, I mean I can read you something from this one. I I want to hear it. I can read something from this, and and um, before I do that. Let me tell you what the. Or you, do you want to go through your word. acronym first? Well, no, I want I want to do that because I may have the order wrong. I mean, maybe it should be CFQ. Maybe the oh. last one is is Q, but all three of them are there. F is for format, which is instructing my personal assistant Pat, uh, just letting them know, hey, when you when you bring me back the results, this is the format that I'd like it in. Um, now, the one example that I'm going to give you that I'll read the prompt from, uh, it, it's, um, it's, I'm asking it to create a table, basically, um, mm -hmm. as, the, as the result, which it does. But someone just told me, or someone, someone on TikTok um, just told me and showed that you can, there's something called markup which is where like a outline form mm -hmm. and it'll take, you know, sort of like raw data that it's giving you, like, um, I don't know, it's multiple paragraphs that are all just, you know, sort of together mm -hmm. and it'll break it up into sections with bold headings and things like that. If you tell it the right way, yeah. it'll actually deliver the stuff that you can just pay, copy and paste if you're using, doing something. So right. I think format is the, is the thing. So let me just find, the uh the example hang on a second um so let's see uh left platform task list this must be it yes okay all right so this is going to be this is going to be pretty long um and, and i want to i want to I want to remind people that that uh, yeah, most of the time <laughs> I'm not going to say all the time because I may have missed some. But the ep when I post the episodes on uh, you know as a yeah. podcast, even yeah. in audio, I post the transcripts. Okay, now it's an AI transcript, but but I I I, I try to give as much information as possible from what we're talking about because since it's it's not visual. Yeah. And I'm not to going to I'm not going to share my screen because there's a a client name in here. Um yeah. and I'm going to skip over that in my instructions. Okay. 
Yeah. All right. Um, so, and if, so it'll if, be in the transcript. My, yeah. Uh, and if my client is listening um, uh, <laughs> to this and thinking, oh, uh, Dave, we hired you to do this kind of work. Um, and what are you having AI do your work for you? Um, then you're missing the point because uh, this is not something to replace a consultant or 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 any of us that are listening. Mm-hmm. It's it's to help us actually do more and be more efficient with our time. So if you're paying me by the hour or however you're paying me, you know you want me to use this because I'm saving my time and I'm 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 increasing the amount of time that I'm doing value added work for you. So this is. This is a, a game changer. So here's, yeah, can I is, can I put my spin on that too? Yeah, do go because, for it. Because uh, uh, you know, and I've had a couple of people. You know, people. You know, I don't I actually don't. I don't do hourly stuff. I don't do right. I don't work by the hour. I'm sure you don't either. But 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 I say to people, look, Rarely. you got to understand. If you had to hire me by the hour, it would have a comma in it, and you, you know, and 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 you don't want me working on mundane tasks at that at that level of of uh um you know money right no, so no, you really I, don't you know i use you know and especially now and i say and i'm saying to people now i'm saying you can't believe how cool this is that i can go out and i can use this to do stuff that you would have been paying me to do and you would have been paying me a lot of money, all right. Exactly. But exactly. what this is doing is this is this is giving me a shortcut to getting right into the to the brain stuff, which is what which, that's what you're paying me for. You're paying me for the brain stuff, not not for the stuff right. that I can I, that I can exactly. do by you know in a that is a habit. Yep. Okay. That, here's what I wrote. All right. I, I can't wait to hear this. I'm, I am i didn't say Pat, but let's just pretend I said Pat. Pat. Hi, Pat. I'm doing marketing consulting for a leading provider of aerial lift platforms, a company called Blank, mm-hmm. um, which I won't name. I've been asked to create an exhaustive, extensive list of the tasks that contractors and subcontractors perform using different types of aerial lift platforms. Aerial lift platforms include telescopic boom lifts, articulating boom lifts, electric scissor lifts, rough terrain scissor lifts, and telehandlers. Examples of task-oriented segments that should be part of my list include electrical, HVAC, glass panel installation, drywall, steel erection, etc. Please make a list of all the tasks for both construction and maintenance that utilize aerial lift platforms. Indicate whether the task is associated with construction or maintenance. Indicate uh, the prevalence of each type of aerial lift platform in the completion of that task. Put the output in grid form with the task in the first column and the types of aerial lift platforms in the other columns with an HML in the intersecting cells for the prevalence of each type of the task with H equals high, M equals medium, L equals low. Before you generate the response, would you please ask me five questions that will help you do a better job of creating the most accurate list and analysis? Thank you. About um, before I could actually scroll down to it, (laughs) it said, certainly, exclamation point. That's what Pat said. Asking a few questions will help me better understand your requirements and ensure the accuracy of the list and analysis. Here are five questions. Are you specifically interested in tasks related to construction and maintenance of buildings, or do you want to include tasks related to other industries and sectors? Would you like the tasks to, would you like the tasks to be categorized by trade or industry or by the specific activity being performed? Three, are there any specific industries or sectors you'd like me to focus on while generating the list? Or should it be a comprehensive list covering various industries? Four, are there any specific criteria or guidelines you would like me to consider when determining the prevalence? Um, Blah, blah, blah. Um, Five, are there any other specific details or requirements you would like me to keep in mind while generating the list? Please provide your answers, and I will proceed with creating the list and grid based on your responses. So I said to answer the questions, and I did answer the questions. I said, I just all at once, I just said one, 
one know, answer right two one and i answered two three four and five this one i said there is also a smaller category of lifts called low level access that are machines that lift workers to lower heights safely an example of this type of equipment would be a brand name model that i put in brand name model that i put in if you want to create another column called LLA for low level access and include this type of equipment, it could help. Please generate the chart now. Uh, within seconds. And, and, and then you left for lunch and uh, um, you said, and in fact, while you were at lunch, you decided to have a three mart, three Loomis, three yeah. Loomis lunch. Yep. And, and, be, and then you came back and it was still working. Mm, yeah. If it had been the human that I gave the task to, they would have um, they would still be working. But it, it wasn't. It was Pat, and 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 within seconds, seconds. You know, basically, I have a a really nicely formatted um, uh, list and or grid, and it has my original five columns of the well it's really seven five five columns of the different types of of handlers including now the le the, the new one low level access which is called low level access lla in parentheses and then a list of the tasks it's not, and not there LOL. Are, it's lla no it's it's not lol it's and you know there's like 40 different tasks like electrical installation repair, plumbing installation, repair, roofing installation, painting and wall finishing, masonry and stonework, tree trimming, window cleaning, concrete tilt up, walls and cladding. It goes on and on and on. And so I don't know how many cells in here, but in the cells are an H, M, or L, depending on which of the six different kinds of this equipment have that prevalence in that particular task okay so yes i mean i mean again i i need to put sound effects in here yeah we need in a little explosion we i'm gonna i'm sound. going to go find sound effects and, do and i'm have gonna that start sound going into in our, in our intro it's in our intro of our podcast oh, you know what that's that's right i'm gonna go we get could that steal that little sound bite can i steal it from ourselves yes <laughs> <laughs> you i love just, it why don't you just ask chat gpt for uh the um the wave file of yeah what a, uh, of yeah a i you know i sound effect that. um so, so 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 yeah what do you think what is your what is your um i mean you're you're into this and everything but and so you like nothing surprises you anymore i'm sure but what do you think of like what i did oh i Okay. Nothing surprises me anymore. It's the level. It's the yeah. level of surprise, right? <laughs> it's yeah. it's the level. It's that it's that see the more I use uh AI, the more I realize that I'm I'm a first grader using AI. Yeah. And and I, you know, and right. I, it, when I listen to, or when I read are. some of these extensive prompts, like what you just read to me of your uh, your prompts, okay, uh, how extensive it was, I just think, why, why does my my little tiny brain not think like that? Um, and um, uh, so, see, I mean, yes, I think that I get pretty far with with what i'm looking for i think it. there's but different that... ways there's definitely different ways to do it and it's iterative i mean i was kind of going for broke on the first pass like i could have started slow and then said now put it into a grid and do this give me the list um so you know i mean but i think it was so brilliant that you said okay a after you gave it all this all this information that you know what you what you wanted right and then you said and, and 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 you specifically said and and ask me five questions yeah you know uh um and it did I mean, that that, that to me were, was that that's were, like that's like this the secret sauce 
It, it, it kind of is. It kind of is. Jeez. So we got a superpower and then we got yeah. a secret sauce. And uh, um, I mean, I think that I think that, that sounded so cool. I would I mean, see, my whole my, my mind is is thinking this must be pages and pages of information. That the response that uh, that. Yeah, it um, is. And, and I mean, it's a nice it's a nice platform because at least chat GPT is. And by the way, I use chat GPT for. For that one, you you did you use four? Yeah, um, yeah. Do you, you think have, it? Do you think it would have it, it it made that much difference to use four versus three point five? I think so. Okay, I think yeah. so. You know, I find I find you know I I sometimes use both. I'll you you know I start with three point five, and I kind of see how far I can go with that, and and then when I get to where I'm like, okay, I'm in the I'm in the realm of where I want to be, then I then I will then I will. Then I use them against each other. And oh, actually, oh. actually, I use all of them against each other. I use 3.5, 4.0, Bard, and Bing. And I and at that point I go in and I and I and I use them all. And have it's you, interesting. It's interesting. Have you um found any difference? Yes. Yeah, it's interesting because uh um both Bing and Bard, there have been instances where they say they come back and they go, I can't do that. Oh, really? Oh, I wish I, I wish I remembered because I, I had it happen uh this morning where I I was I was in doing some work and asking asking them to go get this information and, and that type of stuff. And um and I was not asking, you know, uh, I mean, if you ask it for opinions or to to oh tell me which is the best book on brand you know it, it's not going to tell you that uh it says it's, it, it'll it'll say I, that's not what i do i i don't do that i can report back to you uh but your your question cannot be i it, it, i think it kind of basically says i'm not a human all right so uh, as much as i sound like a human i'm not a human but uh, right. but i have had um uh uh very specific instances where chat gpt 4 will come up with a really amazing response chat gpt 3.5 will have a pretty good response okay. um bing will uh, bing often responds with i can't do that that's interesting now, um, one thing uh, that brings up another thing that I wanted to just like advice for people, because, uh, you know, I talked to this one person who um, is a kind of marketer that I know, and um, uh, he was asking me about the, these AI chat bots and he hadn't done anything with them, which I, it surprised me a little bit. And um, and I said, you need to do this. I mean, obviously, you're in this marketing business, so you need to do it. Play around with it. And he goes, okay, I will play around with it. And then he sent me an email, and it said, he said, Dave, um, I played around with it, um, and I and and I, it didn't really work. Didn't really work for me. Um, he said, I asked it to, um, to uh, like, what do you call it when you? Um, like scan a website, like you is, is, uh, skim a website or something like that. Like he well, asked, yeah, yeah, go go yeah, to this link. He asked he asked it to go and like pull all the data off of a certain website, and it, and it told him that he couldn't do it. You know, but I'm like, and so then you give up, and it's like, yeah, could you ask it another way? You know, it's just like when when you know when if somebody chat, doesn't want to do it, they're not going to do it. When a chatbot like gives you a result that isn't satisfactory try again like try a different way try saying it a different way try asking for something slightly different or let's go you know, yeah let let's go let's a, go back, a work let's go back to how we we both in the, i think we both kind of agreed in the in the beginning that that using this is like talking to a new assistant 
Well, that's a good point. A new All right. assistant. A, a, a person new assistant. who is sitting with you and you've hired this person and you're saying to them, okay, here's what I would like you to go do. All right, go do this. You know what? And then they leave. And if they're gone for a couple of days and then they come back and they present you with what they found and then you look through it and you go, oh man, that's 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 really not what I was looking for. Do you blame them? If you blame them, you're an idiot because it was your instructions <laughs> It was your instruction. They followed did, your, did they follow your instructions? If they followed your instructions, then your instructions were faulty. So uh, um, see, this is, I just, I like to think of this as that I'm talking to a person who desperately wants to help me. And, yes. and so if I go in and I ask it some questions or I give it some direction or something like that, and then it comes back and I go, wow, geez, that's not what I was expecting at all. It's my fault. Right. But, but I could also just look at it that, that, okay. All right. Um, what's missing? What, well, what, where did it go wrong? How can I ask you to go back and do it again? But this time, right. Think about it from this perspective. And here's another thing that I had and I that just dawned on me as, as you were talking is that like, you know, I do all this voice of customer work and I train companies and how to do it themselves too. And one of the things that I stress in this is that your customers are going to, you're going to say, what challenges are you having with X, Y, Z? And they're going to say, oh, they're going to give you like an idea that they have, like a solution to a problem. Like you need to put you know, the control knob on the side of the machine, not the front. And then the salespeople go around and they hear it a few times and they go back to the company and they say, you know, hey, everybody's asking for this. We got to do it. And everybody goes, okay, I guess we'll do it. And they do it. And then it costs more. And then they say, well, you know, do you want this? And they say, well, not if it costs more. And where'd you get that idea? Well, I just wanted it. So, what I teach is if you hear things like that, try to find out what the desired outcome is. Like I want to minimize the effort required to reach the, the turn, you know, the, the on off switch, or I want to, you know, minimize my ability to stop the machine in an emergency. And maybe it's a special thing or moving the switch, but maybe it's a handheld thing that they have that isn't even connected to the thing. In other words, you you're asking for what you want to happen. This is what I want to happen. So ask the AI, tell it what you want to learn or tell it what the outcome you want is. It'll go figure out how to get that. Don't say, oh, skim this website, because that's right. your idea of how it would find the information. And that's right. just based on your own experience of how you would find the information if you were doing it. Mm -hmm. Let it figure it out. Yeah. And and I'm going to say this very bluntly, that anybody in our our world, and, I, and it's more than just marketing consultants and authors and speakers and stuff like that, anybody in our world who uh, resists this will be out of work shortly. Um, you will be, um, you will not be needed. I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to plus that and say, yes, I totally agree. And on top of that, let me just say, if you haven't tried this yet, you're, you know, to use your term, you're an idiot. Like, honestly, seriously. And there's, there is a B2B marketing organization, and I'm not going to name it. And they have, um, they have a, a, a members meeting coming up and they sent out a, a link. And on the link, um, it said, oh, we're doing a survey before this session. And it was, uh, it's, it, it's to find out, answer this question of the survey. And the question was, have you tried chat GPT? That was the question. <laughs> and I thought, what a, what a, that, that's, a, that's kind of useless. 
who would be coming to this thing and have not tried it? Who in their right mind would be in marketing and have not like You're actually not, played around? Yeah. yeah. So, but the, guess what? The, guess what? Like, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go steal the little explosion blow your mind thing <laughs> because they sent something out and it said, oh, the results to the survey are in. 55% of attendees that are coming have tried Jet Chat GPT already. And I'm like, oh, a whole 55%. Wow. Here's wow. the thing about and here's the thing about what? Uh, See when you, you you and I you and I we embrace this stuff. We embrace what what we see as it's just like I'm I'm sure you were the same way when the internet came out. When the internet came out, I mean my book, I told you I think I told this you this before, right? My book that came out in 1990 about about how to get the most out of trade shows, my very first book, uh, uh came out. I I had a section in one chapter and it was you know, 300 words or something like that, where I talked about the coming cyberspace. I said, it's coming. Be ready for this, because when it comes, it's going to shake up the world. And, uh, um, you know, and and then when the Internet came out, I, I dragged I dragged all of my clients kicking and screaming into the Internet age back in 1994, 1995. Yeah. And, and all yeah. that stuff. Well, right now, and because I said, I said, this is going to change the world. It's going to change the world. Right now, I'm saying this is bigger than that was. Yeah, right? exactly. And and you talk about that really, really uh, articulately in your newsletter, The Uncopyable Mindset. If if yeah. any listeners are, are you know, uh, you have to subscribe to Steve's newsletter. And it's and it's worth the 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 nine dollars or something that it might be now. Yes, yeah. yeah. Soon, um, it's going to so eventually. It's going to eventually be. And it's all free the, right all, now. But go once a week, right? Once yeah, a week, but and it's look up, be nine uh, bucks a month. It, 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 where do they find it at the adventure dot com? No, go to be un, be uncopyable dot com. Okay, go to be uncopyable dot com and subscribe right. to the uncopyable yeah. mindset because this is fantastic. Uh, co content and it's it's all Steve and it's instructional. It's not just you know it, it, it's going to help you. Well, uh, I, I want to share. I want to share uh, very quickly. Be, I mean, we're obviously we obviously have to get out of here. I want to share one thing that I wrote about this week, um, and um, you know, and I love it when I'm with Dave because because you know I get to share. Some really interesting, cool stuff. What you should hear what we talk about when you're not around, All right? Uh, um, it's worth a lot of money. Anyway, uh, um, this That's week true. I wrote I wrote about um, I I thought you know what Chat GPT. I wonder what it thinks of me. Mm -hmm. Did you read that yet? I did. I read okay. it. Yeah, it's yeah. it's. I said. I said. It, it, it's brilliant. And I said. I said. What do you think of me? It. Right. Any so I went in and it. I and I just all I said was, uh, you know, you know, you know, would you hire Steve Miller, the author of Uncopyable? That's basically all I asked. Okay, and it came back with stuff about me that I couldn't freaking believe. And I and I because uh, and I said I said. Well, is there, you know, is there more, right? And it goes, oh yeah, you know, and it's <laughs> yeah, it's it it it's it's really interesting, and it's pulling things from from everywhere, from everywhere, 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 because yeah. it's it was using terms, uh, it was using um, um, analysis of what I do, and um, that it's it's not on my website. It's not. It's not in my book. It's not in my bio. I mean, it, it pulls pieces of that of that stuff. But then it it boy, it came up with some of the most amazing information. And and I'm going to tell you, I have done the same thing now for all my clients. Yeah, it's it's it is interesting. Now and I how did it for you, Dave. How you? I also it, did yeah, it for you, Dave. You did it for me. You sent me a gift one day, yeah. and it was yeah. it was what what Chat GPT said about me, which was damn accurate. Um. Uh, because it did say that I was a superstar, not superstar, just a star, not just superstar. a superstar. No, I'm That's kidding. Right. 
Totally kidding. Totally kidding. But I, but but now this week I did something else. After after I wrote after I wrote the uh, I did something else. I went out and I picked out um the person that I would consider to be my number one competitor. Who okay. actually is a very good friend of mine, but it's not you. Okay. All right? okay. Because, no, because, I don't, because for I, me, you know, we you and I, I uh, consider you, ourselves you, and, and, and I mean you and I are very compatible. Um, we are not competition for each other, okay? Because you you do stuff like the voice of the customer stuff that is what's it gonna be called? Outsight. Customer outsight, not insight, outsight. Okay. Do you have that domain? Uh yes, customeroutsight.com. Attaboy. Attaboy. Okay. So and it's trademarked. And he is this guy, you know, this stuff. I, I mean, I can't even touch this stuff because he's so good at it. And, um, you know, but I took this this guy who I've known for 35 years. Uh, and he and I have kind of grown up in the speaking world and stuff like that together. Uh, a different paths, but grown up. And 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 I did the same thing with him where I asked I asked ChatGPT, you know, would you hire this guy? Why or and why would you hire this guy? Right. And it came up with that. Right. And then I said, compare Steve Miller with this guy. Okay. Oh, 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 interesting. You, what, what did it you say? You got to see this. Okay. That sounds fascinating. It was, it, it was, it was, again, right? It was showing where I was superior to him and where he was superior to me. I even I even asked it to break it down into the pros and cons of each person, right? And it and it just nailed them, just nailed them. But you see, if I'm talking like like if I were talking to a possible prospect right now, I would be asking questions that are focused on what you know ChatGPT is is, is saying. If this is what you're looking for, you hire this guy. If you're looking mm -hmm. for this, you hire this guy. Yes. Yes. Un unbelievable. Okay. So, all right. On what that what note, are we going to talk about next? What are we going to talk about next? Because I feel like we're not done. No, and, no. And I'm well, going to use this as, as, a, as a, a, a leaping point because what, what I'm going to say is, is let's talk about how companies can use ChatGPT for uh, competitive intelligence and um, an advantage. What else would you do to to? Does that sound okay? I, to I you? think it's focused enough that that I think that's a good idea. Competitive uh, intelligence and advantage. That's good. I like it. Let's do that. That's what we're going to do next. You know, and um, yeah, you know me. I'm a loose cannon. I don't know. I have, have any idea where I'm going with this? But I got I got this guy on the other side of the the, the screen that. Um, he knows what the f he's talking about. See, flattery will get you everywhere. That's the f word. Steve knows it. That's the f word that I just used. All right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. Okay, folks, we're out of here. This has been the formidable. That's the f word. Formidable B two B marketing and sales podcast with Steve Miller, not the rock star, and Dave Loomis, also known as uh, the Voice, and some other things people call me. Uh, Dave the Wave, they used to call me in uh, grade school because I had hair and there was a wave in it. <laughs> but those were the days. We'll see you all. And thanks for listening. Come back to learn more about the exciting new world of AI. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to another episode of the one and only B2B Marketing and Sales Podcast, the source for B2B Marketing and Sales Insight. If you enjoyed the podcast, please be sure to subscribe and leave these old guys a five-star rating. Check the show notes for any links and contact information. You can always contact us by going to B2Bmarketingsalespodcast.com. Thank you, and keep on marketing. Keep on selling.